webinar is about when education moves home and the implications for students, academics, administrators, and education leaders. Let me say something about our experience, maybe here in Romania, but also translatable to other uh, higher education brick and mortar institutions. So institutions to which online learning was only a small part of what they were doing. They were based on in-campus, in-situ education with uh, very strong support from lab work, from project work, from seminars and uh, classes in big amphitheaters. For us, blended learning, for a lot of us, uh, was only a support. So you had, uh, like we had in the Polytechnica University in Timisoara in Romania, the virtual campus as mainly a support for our students and professors, where you will have some of the teaching materials, where you will be able to communicate with your students from time to time, but it will be only seen as a support for teaching, not the main method of teaching. And that was the biggest challenge when on 13th of March we needed by day zero, let's make it like that, to move everything online. It was uh, the challenge also from the management perspective, from the technical perspective, from the support, the continuous support which we need to give for the teachers and the students, but also from the quality assurance perspective, which is uh, something which I will try to, to catch very, very little to add extra to what uh, Eba was saying. So from the management perspective, usually the biggest challenge is how to make, as a leader, everybody to follow you not to make it compulsory but for people to willingness to will to go online to will to teach online using video conferencing tool you to use a lot of interaction to use open and educational resources and to integrate them more vividly and more interactively in their courses to submit and even to pass and to give exams online when you have never done that before all the time you go to the exams in situ and in campus, mainly because that's the legislation. That was the quality uh, agency assurance uh, main thing, that the exams need to be in campus, face-to-face -face exams all the time. So how you overcome that from the management perspective? Then also technically, the internet is very, very stressed now, not the web, I'm speaking about the internet. Everybody's connection from home is struggling, is not always the best. You don't have everybody, not even from the staff, not to mention students, which will have good access to internet, which will have their own laptop. Quite a lot of them share computers and laptops at home. How you assure that everybody can, has an, an equitable and correct access to your, to your studies, to your classes, to your online environment, when you cannot assure, when you know for sure that is a digital divide between the different parts of the society. And even in, as we are considered one of the best, it's probably not one of the, the best technical university in Romania. And we have very, very good students. Our students need to pass an admission exam of math, quite a lot of them. So they are very good and quite technically oriented, but they still struggle. And how you give support, how you manage with 25,000 users constantly and continuously to give the support with a team which was not, how to say, prepared to face this beside your normal teaching. I'm also a professor. I'm used to this online teaching, but even for me, sometimes it's tiring. Being six hours online, running webinars, because for us, support also for the professors and also for the students meant that me and my staff, we were every day in the last two weeks and a half online for one to three hours are giving advice, giving training, answering to questions to people which were professors from mainly from our university, but not only. And there were every day between 150 to 300 and something. We reached sometimes the limit. We couldn't let anybody more in the room <laughs> to be able to, to listen and to ask questions uh, correctly and to see us. So that's one. And that's the last one, but probably not the least, is how you will assure that the students which will graduate this year, your alumni, will have the same degree, the same competencies, the same certificate when for two, maybe even three months, they will study online. 
they will probably pass exams in a different form than the predecessors had, a different form than the law, at least, at least at this moment, allows us to do it. How you will assure that from, I don't know, five, 10 years ago, the generation of 2020, the graduate of 2020, will be not seen as a second, second-hand students, second-hand engineers, or second-hand scientists, because they will say, mm, you passed your finals online. Your last months of education were much more lighter than to the other, even if that's not true. We all know that, that the quality assurance in online education can be proven to be as good as in, in traditional higher education. But these are the questions which we are facing now. We are struggling to find good answers. We overpassed, let's make the first steps of moving everything online, improving everybody's digital competencies overnight and allowing everybody to join us online as much as possible, even using mobile phones, not necessarily a laptop and a computer. But now we need to face the reality that this is going to be longer and we need to make sure that the graduates of 2020 will be nothing to be ashamed of but to be proud that they've experienced a completely different education method and they, they will be, how to say, probably the most celebrated ones that they graduated in, in 2020.